All right, so we're going to go over systems of equations, and we're going to be introduced to them, and then figure out how to solve them uh, graphically. So a system is made of two or more equations, but for this uh, example, we're only going to be using system of linear equations. So when we solve a system of linear equations, look for the point of intersection or solution to both equations. There's three methods we can be uh, that we can use to solve systems of linear equations. We can graph them, we can use the substitution method, or we can use the elimination method, also known as the addition method. So this chart right here helps us uh, look at how many possible solutions we can have, how they look graphically, and how they would look using uh, substitution or elimination. So you can uh, take a look on that yourself. Okay, so for example one, is the point 1, 2 a solution to the system of linear equations? So we have our system 2x minus 5y equals negative 8, and negative 3x plus 8y equals negative 2. Now, to check if the point 1, 2 is a solution, we're going to plug the point into both equations to see if it's true. So we're going to do that right now. So our first one, we have 2x minus 5y equals negative 8. We have our x and our y. Our x is 1, our y is 2, so we're going to plug them in. We have 2 times 1 minus 5 times 2 equals negative 8. So we're just going to work that out using our order of operations. We got 2 times 1 is 2. Uh, negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. And we have 2 minus 10. That is indeed negative 8. But we can't just go ahead and say 1, 2 works for this system because it only works for the first one. We have to check, does it work for the second one? We have to make sure it works for the entire system. So let's do that right now. We have negative 3x plus 8y equals negative 2. So we have negative 3 times 1 plus 8 times 2 equals negative 2. We use our order of operations to work that out. We get negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Uh, 2 times 8 is 16. And uh, negative 3 plus 16 is negative, or excuse me, positive 13. And that doesn't equal negative 2. So the point 1, 2 is not a solution to the system because it doesn't work for both. It only works for one. So it has to work for both in order for it to be a solution. So let's move on to example 2. Is the point 4, negative 2 a solution to the system of linear equations? So we have our system 1 half x plus 2y equals negative 2 and 2x minus y equals 10. So we're going to plug the point into both equations. So our point is 4, negative 2. So we have 1 half x, which is 4, plus 2 times y, which is negative 2, and it equals negative 2. So half of 4 is 2. Uh, 2 minus negative 2 is negative 4 equals negative 2, and 2 minus 4 is negative 2 and negative 2 does equal negative 2, so that works. It works for the first one, but we have to check, does it work for the second one? So we're going to plug it in. We got a 2 times x, which is 4, minus y, which is our negative 2, equals 10. So our minus minus become plus plus, so we have 8 plus um, 2 equals 10. 8 plus 2 is 10 and it checks out. So the point 4, negative 2 is a solution to the system. So that's just how to check and what, is it, what it means to be a solution. It has to work for both of them. That's where if you were to graph them, that's where they're going to intersect. And that's where we're going to lead on to. So solving a system of linear equations by graphing. One method to solving systems is by graphing. So if the equations are parallel, that meaning they have the same slope, there is no solution because parallel lines never intersect, therefore they have no solution. If the equations are identical, they are the same line. It means the equations overlap and have an infinite number of solutions. Okay. So to solve a system of linear equations, the first thing we want to do is make sure that it's in uh, slope intercept form which is y equals mx plus b and then we're going to graph each equation on the same coordinate plane and where they intersect is indeed the solution so we're going to make sure that they're in slope intercept form which is y equals mx plus b we're going to graph them on the same plane and then where they intersect is the solution so um, let's take a look at example one 
So we need to solve this system by graphing. We have 4y minus x equals 8, and we have y equals 1 fourth x minus 6. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that they're both in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. And what that means is to solve for y. So if we take a look at our second one, our second one right here, it's already solved for it. It's already y equals, so we're good to go. But our first one, 4y minus x equals 8, y isn't by itself, so we need to make it get by itself. So let's solve for y in the first equation. So we need to add x to both sides, and we're left with 4y equals our um, x plus 8. And then we need to divide by 4 to get y by itself. And we divide everything by 4 because, you know, math is fair. So we have y equals 1 fourth x plus 2. Wait a minute, though. We notice something about the slopes. We have 1 fourth x, and we have 1 fourth x. They both have the same slope. So since we are working with the same slope, so since we have the same slope, it's no solution. So since we have 1 fourth x and 1 fourth x, it doesn't matter what comes after that. If the slope is the same, which is the number with the x, then you have no solution. They're never going to intersect. They're parallel lines. All right, let's move on to example two. So we're going to solve this by graphing. That's the theme for all of this. So uh, what do we notice about both equations? They're not in y equals mx plus b form. They're not in point intercept me, um, slope intercept form. So what we need to do is solve for y in both equations. So let's do that. We have our uh, negative 9x plus y equals 1. So we need to add 9x to get y by itself. So we have y equals 9x plus 1. Now we need to do the same thing to the second one. So we have 8y equals 72x plus 8. We need to get y by itself by dividing everything by 8. So we have y equals 9x plus 1. Wait a minute, though. What do we know about these equations? Well, they're identical. Identical means they look the same. So since they're the same, it's infinite number of solutions. All right, so example three. We're going to solve this by graphing. And um, as you can see, there's a coordinate plane here, so you know we are going to graph them. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that they're in y equals mx plus b, which they are, so we are good to go. So I'm going to break these up separately in order to graph them. So we have our y equals negative x plus 5, and we have y equals x minus 3. So we're going to graph these separately as if we were just graphing everyday lines, and then where they intersect is going to be the solution. So for our first one, we need to figure out when we're graphing lines. If you're a little bad at it, I'll, I'll teach you a new way to hopefully uh, simplify it or make it more simple for you. So the first thing we need to do is identify our start, which is our y-intercept. And that's the number without the x. So it's always going to be 0 and that number, which is positive 5. And now we need to identify our slope. The slope is the number with the x. So in this case, it's negative 1. So we have negative 1 over 1, because remember, under every single thing is a 1. So since it's negative 1, 1, we can either go down and right or up and left, because that negative can go either way, either to the top, the numerator, or to the bottom, the denominator. All right, so now that we have all this information, we can go ahead and graph it. So where we're going to start at our in our y-intercept, which is 0, 5. So plot that point. And then we're going to use our slope to make additional points. So we can go down one, right one, down one, right one, or up one, left one, up one, left one. I'm going to go both ways. So down one, right one, down one, right one, down one, right one, down one, right one. Keep going. I like making lots of points. Especially if you're trying to graph systems, it's good to make a bunch of points because you eventually want them to cross. And then all those years, of connecting the dots in those activity books. Thank your parents for that. You connect the dots to create a pretty line. Hopefully it's better looking than mine. All right, our second graph, we have y equals x minus three. So just like before, we wanna identify our y-intercept, our start. 
So it's always the number with the uh, without the x. And so it's going to be 0, negative 3. You always take the sign with it. And now we're going to identify our slope. Our slope is the number with the x. So in this case, it's a 1. So we have 1 over 1. So we can go up and right or down and left. So we go to our start, 0, negative 3. And our goal is to intersect with the other line. So are we going to go down one, left one, down one, left one? We're not. That's not going to get us to the other line. So we're going to go up one, right one. So up one, right one, up one, right one, up one, right one, up one, right one. Oh, look at there. They cross. We're going to connect the dots. And where they intersect, this point right here, which is 4, 1, that's the point of intersection. That's the solution. So our solution is 4, 1. All right, so move on to the next example. All right, so moving on to the next example, example 4, uh, you notice that they're not in slope-intercept form. So what we need to do is solve for y in both equations. So we have negative x plus y equals 1. All you have to do is just add x over to get y equals x plus 1. So from there, we can go ahead and identify our y-intercept, or our start, which is 0, 1. And then we can go ahead and identify our slope, which is 1. So we have 1 over 1, so we can go up and right, or down and left. Now, we want to do the same thing to our second equation of negative 6x plus 3y equals negative 21. So we're going to add 6x over. So we have 3y equals 6x minus 21 and divide everything by 3. So we have y equals 2x minus 7. And we're going to do the same thing as before. We're going to figure out what's the y-intercept, which is the start, and what's the slope. So our y-intercept, or our start, is 0, negative 7. And our slope is 2. So remember, there's always a 1 under every single thing. So it's 2 over 1. So we can go up and right or down and left. So let's plot our green line first. We're going to start at 0, 1. And we're going to go up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1. Make a bunch of dots. You can never make too many. especially if you're graphing systems by um, solving systems by graphing because you want them to intersect so you want to make as many dots as you can in order for them to intersect at some point all right now that we have our first line graphed we can go ahead and graph our second one which is our red one so we're going to start at zero negative seven and obviously if you look are we going to go down and left we're not. We're not going to hit the graph, so we're going to go up and right. So we're going to go up to right one, up to right one, up to right one, so on. Keep going until you hit the other graph. Oh my gosh, we're so close. Look at there. We finally intersected it. And where they intersect, right here, is the solution, which is at 8, 9. So the solution is 8, 9. Alright, so that's all for the video, but in the attachment that I'm going to attach these notes um, in the comments uh, part of the video, and then at the end of this, I'm actually going to do a couple more examples. I'm not going to explain them, but just so you can see a little bit more and um, actually work them out yourself and without me telling you how to do it.